You know, I feel like there is a secret hatred between fighters and promoters. And they probably don't really like each other at the end of the day, but they use each other. And this business is really tricky. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm dealing with a bunch of maniacs and lunatics every day. And I'm sure they're thinking the same thing. This wannabe, Don King, flamboyant mother, you know, that's fine. Let's use each other to reach our goals and our dreams. And that's what this business is about. I'm waiting to get the confirmation on, on the fight. Injured, injured, still training right here every day. That's September 29th, Fight Fest, be there. We're in the pain. Family, this fight is table, man. What? What? Come get some. It's breakfast time, baby. It's nothing. Come get it. What? Training's been going good. We've been getting good turnouts. A few days ago when I was on a, a business trip, I received a call from Top Rank and was asked to uh, actually do a storyline for the September 15th fight with Chavez and Martinez. You know, the right things are going on. We're a boxing gym, but we're also here to help individuals out and be better people. So it's not just your typical boxing gym that's in Vegas. We're doing things a whole hell of a lot different. Ooh, that's a tough enough 135 pound Bantamweight title on my shoulder right here, man. I had a very skilled adversary uh, with a record of seven and one. That was uh, Steve Ramirez. I don't know whether he came to fight or not. You know, uh, I tried to make it a quick night, 16 seconds in. Got that TKO. I have this for a reason, so I hope y'all respect that. Boxing, I'm gonna keep on doing the same thing. Same Jiu Jitsu, I'm gonna keep on doing the same thing. I will not lose. God willing, I will not lose. I know I'm no joke. I know y'all seen me on HD Net with Boss Rudin commentating my fight. That means I'm the truth. 16 seconds worth of truth. Remember that. Come this way. What's up? It's my cousin LJ right there. LJ Waller. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Defending the Naga champion. Coming to defend his title. Had belts before I did. One, One of the coldest two, jiu-jitsu guys three. from Mika Jiu-Jitsu in the game right now. And his cousin got a belt. Who we? So, Daniel, what, what happened last event? Why'd you fall off? Well, I fell off. I was uh, dealing with a couple struggles, you know, in life as we always have to go through. It's real easy to fall back into old habits, especially if you don't, uh, if you don't have your mind right. Back on my feet, and I'm ready to train, and uh, this is where I need to be. The main reason I got this was because uh, there was uh, one specific person I won't say no names, but uh, he, he was like my brother. I love this. He's like my brother, and uh, you know, he did a lot of uh, pretty, pretty messed up stuff to me when I got locked up. He pretty much did me dirty, and uh, you know, I found out who my real friends were, and. Uh, I t from that point on, I just decided to just whoever you know, whoever I meet, just to, to be me. Prior in my life, I was you know doing all the wrong things, expecting good results. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much an immature state of mind. But uh, now this is what I believe in to the fullest, man. Just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle for me. It's not just the same. You know, week after week, I get more impressed with the coaches. The coaching staff's getting bigger. The guys, I mean, look at them. They're sitting there, listening to the coach. That's really impressive. They're wanting to compete. You know, they're real fighters. We're just getting ready for this next event, September 29th. Uh, bike Fest, you know, I got, I'm gonna ride a bike out there. I might have to practice a little bit more. Maybe the Nitro Circus guys can, can give me a lesson or two. Here, you know what? Here, follow me out to my hog. All you other Harleys, you better, you better watch out. So we're excited, man, we're here. So I hope everybody comes and watches us. You know, we try to have a good time with it, but really, once they step into the ring, it, it's all business. And, and I know that, Uncle, man. And I'm proud of everybody in there. I'm impressed, and hey, thanks for watching. I wanted to clear one thing up. Somebody had the notion that I was saying shit behind your back. Dude, it's gonna fall. Please screw up the whole thing. That is wasting this money to be making. Life is what you're facing. You just gotta take it. Gotta change the pace so everything's about the cave in. Gotta raise the stakes, cause if I those ain't playing. Every minute that is wasting this money to be making. Life is what you're facing. You just gotta take it. Gotta change the pace so everything's about the cave in. Gotta raise the stakes, cause if I those ain't playing. First things first, I'm in it to win it.